Hi everyone, this is the brief tutorial for the uh, reports writing wizard on ISAMS. This will enable you to write your reports um, for, um, for your students on ISAMS. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the dashboard, which comes up whenever you, um, whenever you log into ISAMS on a desktop or on a laptop. And all we're going to do is we go on to Reports Wizard. Now, the Reports Wizard may be on your sidebar here. If it's not on your sidebar, you can find Reports Wizard in the Viewer Modules, and you just click on it. If you want to put the Reports Wizard on your sidebar, you can just click on that star, fill it in, and it puts it on the sidebar. It's already on mine, but you can enter Reports Wizard uh, either way. Now, if, as I've got my Reports Wizard up, I first of all need to select a cycle. Now, for each kind of report, You've got, your, um, you've got your reports wizard up, and all you're doing is you select what it is you want to do. I'm gonna select UFP because they require comments as well. And um, I'm going to click on okay. I'm going to click on that one, sorry. Okay, so then it comes up with, the, with that particular cycle. Click on subjects at the tab here. And my reports, they're, well, they're, they're, they're physics reports. I click on physics. And then I click on my set name, but I'm going to have to cover up part of the screen to cover up student names. So I'm just going to cover up part of that screen. And then I'm going to just put students' names up. So what comes up is a list of students' names and whether or not that report's been completed. And all I then do is I click on the student's name to come up with, to, to, to show the report. I'm going to pause for a brief moment while I do that to try and make sure that I am complying with them. Um, GDPR and all that. So bear with me for just a second. Right, bear with me. So the reports wizard windows come up. I've covered up the student's name um, so I can write their report. So if I wanted to say the report uh, for the student, I've put in the effort grade terms before and I put in maybe a two and I put in their grade and it should just be the type of grade that you can, um, you, you, you can award. It's just effort and attainment, no target, no predicted, just the, uh, just the attainment grade. So the student is on merit, and I would say, I'll then write in a comment in the comment box. Notice it automatically spell checks. That's if you're using Chrome. And you can just right click and, uh, and, and you can then just, just sort of correct it. Simpler, okay. So uh, good report, remember, it, it talks about what they've done, how well they've done it, what they've not done quite so well, and what they could do to improve. So it's got the positive mixture of positive and, uh, and challenge. Once you've done that, if your report, if you've proofread it, uh, you can go back and you can complete it. If you, however, are halfway through writing it and you've had to stop for any reason, you just keep on incomplete. So you click on complete, and then you click on save and close. This student's report is incomplete. So I'm just gonna save it as an incomplete report um, so that I can just save it as, as is needed. Right, so excuse my being slightly disjointed for this. So once you've done that, anything that's incomplete is blue, anything that's complete is green, and that's how you can write your reports. The tricky, the thing to remember that's very different to engage is remember that you have to tag the um, tag the report as being complete by clicking in that uh, the, the button in the dialog box, and that is how you write reports.